Hey there, Pipers. Still drinking. A little housekeeping. Smoking my Savonelli 920. With Sutliff's Morte Doce. So I got me another box opening today. All the way from Portugal. If you guys recognize the name, Bruno Robalo. Still hot as hell here, although it's not as muggy as it was when the tropical depression was heading our way. But that's it. Yep, and it's gone. So all the way from Portugal. Paper, that's what we got. Hmm. Nice little canvas, or maybe some kind of a faux canvas. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh, that's a tall chamber right there. Nice simple rustification. Holy smokes, look at the size of that. Wow. That is humongous. Almost almost two inches I think. But I almost can get the thumb in there. Hmm. God damn it. Smoky Doce is moist. I can see his um claw mark on the bottom there. Right train. Nice bird's eye on the top there. Oh, he actually did uh, went a little further on the bit there. Well, you can see how he actually bore the hole in a little bit. Tip could use a little bit more sanding, but he actually filed the the chamber down a little bit. Damn this thing. I know a lot of uh, pipers have been doing review on Sutliff's blends, and they were not kidding about the Molte Dolce being moist. Like it is just saturated. Kind of hard to keep lit, but for something as cased as that, it doesn't give too much tongue bite. I'm kind of surprised. But all in all, a nice pipe, I think. Make a good work pipe. A little Popeye action. Hmm, not too bad. Man. 
Yeah, for as, as heavily cased as it is, there's very little tongue bite and very smooth smoke. I had a little get together again with um, Army 44 last night, a little barbecue and hangout. That was fun. We're trying to find more local guys in um, Pike community. That'll be pretty cool. I gotta say, um, I want to make a video later to Crossroads Greg to see if he can. I know he's whipping up a new blend. And um, maybe he can make us uh, a little bit of Mississippi River type blend. Maybe it'll be um, it'll be pretty cool. I'd li I'd l really love to send um, more business their way. Last night when I had passed around the Mississippi River, everybody was uh, thoroughly enjoying it as well as the Delta Mojo. But the Delta Mojo is more on the mild to medium where the uh, Mississippi River is just a real mild, smooth, and, and slightly sweet smoke. Uh, my brother had mentioned, and I had kind of agreed, that that one actually smells nice for an English, too. You know how Englishes can be kind of uh, offensive, if you will, but you know, to the non-pipe smoker, but that one actually had a pretty pleasing aroma, I think. But, it'd be kind of cool to, for him to make another blend and then uh, I can get all my Englishes from just one spot. So yeah, I got everybody on the English blend, so it'd be really cool to get us some, uh, some more Delmo and their version, you know, a little sweeter Virginia, Latakia based English. But, well, anyway. Hopefully if, um, if he gets time, I know he's out with Brother Boontar now doing uh, a little traveling. So once he gets the time, hopefully he can kind of throw everything together. But that's another video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Again, check him out on Facebook, Mr. Bruno Robalo. Very, very decently priced. I believe this baby's going to smoke. Fantastic. Very nice draw. Alrighty, Pipers. Stay smoky, my friends. I had this real weird dream last night that I lost all my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> no.